Hey foodies, it's me again with a brand new episode full of something to tantalize your taste buds. We're still in the festive season and in honor of this season, I'm going to show you how to make four classic drinks that you can create from the comfort of your kitchen. Now, two of these drinks are simple mocktail drinks and the other two are cocktail drinks for alcohol lovers. While I was planning the episode for this week, I wanted to teach you guys another food recipe. And then it dawned on me that we do not have a drink recipe on this channel. Like, how is that even possible that we don't have at least one drink recipe on this channel? That's like, that's a taboo, right? <laughs> so what better time to share with you my favorite drink recipes than this beautiful holiday season that we are in. So to make up for past time, I'm gonna be sharing four classic drink recipes that you can use this holiday season to wow your family and your friends. Of course, you can use it all year round. It doesn't have to be for the holidays alone. If you like this video after watching it, which I definitely know you're going to like, please kindly give it a thumbs up so that we know what kind of videos to recreate for you. And then if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video. All right, guys, let's get right into this drink making action. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. I designed a holiday menu for those of you who may be finding it difficult to figure out what to cook for your family and friends this holiday season. It's a free downloadable PDF file that contains three different menu collections you can pick from. Now, each menu has an appetizer, three main courses, a dessert, and of course, drinks. Like, what's a holiday season without drinks, right? Every item on each menu has a full recipe breakdown containing the ingredient list and the procedure for cooking. If menu one doesn't work for you, I'm sure menu two or three will do the job. And what's even more fun is that you can create your own unique menu by selecting recipes from the three different menus. But whatever the case may be, you have no excuse not to give your family and friends, and even yourself, a good treat this holiday season. All recipes in the delicious holiday menu are so easy to make and super duper mouth watering and all of the ingredients are easily accessible and very affordable. Just in case you're interested in this holiday menu, you can use the link in the description box down below. Just click on it and be on your way to getting your free PDF copy. All right, now we can go ahead. Uh, all right, guys, so let's begin. We will begin with this classic mojito cocktail, a very popular and easy to make cocktail drink. Start by adding some lime wedges into serving glasses, followed by mint leaves. Then use a muddler to squash the lime and mint leaves together. In my case, I'm using a grater with a flat bottom, which does the job just fine. You can get creative in the kitchen. <laughs> now don't over squash it so that you do not release the bitter content of the white part of the lime. At this point, you can add some sugar, but I didn't add any to mine because I'm trying to cut down on the excess calories. Next, add a shot of vodka or rum into the glass, followed by some squashed ice cubes, and then top it off finally with some lemon-flavored soft drink like Sprite, or you can use soda water if that's what you have available. Add some extra ice cubes or ice squashes to the top for some extra coolness, <laughs> if there's any word like that. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Our classic mojito cocktail is ready to be devoured. Don't pay so much at a restaurant trying to enjoy this drink. Now you know how to make it. Ensure you make it for yourself, your family, and your friends from the comfort of your home. The second cocktail is also a classic cocktail recipe and is super easy to make. Add some vodka into the seven glasses followed by some orange juice and then top it off with some lemon and orange wedges that will give it a burst of freshness. And then of course add some ice to chill off this yummy drink that's it guys as simple as a b c d <laughs> e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t v w x y z just kidding <laughs> now this simple cocktail is ready to be served look at how gorgeous it is the third drink recipe is a mocktail just because some of us don't do alcohol <laughs> It's the very popular Chapman drink, and if you live in Nigeria, then you definitely know this drink. Begin by slicing up the fruit and vegetable that will go with the drink. I have some cucumber, oranges, and fresh lemons here. Now these fruits and vegetables will be infused into the drink and will release its freshest citrusy flavor. They are a must add to any Chapman drink, and no, there are no substitutes for them. So just slice them all up and then set them aside. 
Add some lemon flavored soft drinks like Sprite into a glass pitcher to form the base of this drink. Then top it off with some grenadine syrup which can be found in any major supermarket. And then finally add some orange flavored soft drink like Fanta. A few drops of Angostura bitters makes a lot of difference but I don't have any at home and so I'm not going to use any of it. But if you have it available in your house, please by all means go ahead and use some, okay? Finish it off by adding the cucumber, lemon and orange slices. Stir to combine and then transfer to the refrigerator and allow to sit pretty for at least one hour before serving. For serving, add some ice cubes into the seven glasses followed by cucumber slices for garnish and then pour the yummy Chapman drink into the glasses and serve. Yum yum yum! <laughs> this Chapman drink is a must have in your repertoire of drink recipes. Moving right along guys, the final drink recipe is a simple mocktail mix that is made with one of my favorite spices in the world. In a glass pitcher, add some orange juice, blackberry or blackcurrant juice, some lemon or lime flavored soft drink like Sprite, and then some cinnamon sticks, orange slices and lemon slices. Give it a very good mix to combine and then place in the refrigerator and allow to infuse for at least one hour or at most overnight. Afterwards, pour in seven glasses and top it off with more orange slices, lemon slices and cinnamon sticks. Serve and enjoy! I promise you guys, this simple mocktail mix is definitely one that you would love to try. So now you know how to make four classic holiday inspired drinks. I am definitely team fresh fruit drinks, but for the holiday, Chapman will be gracing my holiday table. But this is gonna be my, my <coughs> holiday drink amongst the four of them. And then maybe the classic mojito for when I want some alcohol goodness. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little sip of this. Tastes good. Now you can go ahead, like I said, and put the Angostura bitters if you have it available. It was really hard to find and I'm like, you know what, away with it, I'll just make my Chapman without it. But you can certainly add it if you have it, but just add a few drops of it, it makes a lot of difference, okay? If you're requesting any of these recipes, please kindly send me your pictures on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. I'm there at Delicious Foods and I always love to see your recreations. Don't forget that you can download your free copy of my holiday menu using the link in the description box down below. All right, guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering, delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and happy holidays.